fears that Russia could invade Ukraine today have not borne out, but tensions remain high. The Biden administration and U.S. allies say Russia continues to escalate despite talk of diplomacy. So where does it all stand? White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Wars in Europe rarely start on a Wednesday. That's how one top Russian diplomat sarcastically put it. But the White House is not amused, saying Russia is showing no signs of backing down. We have good reason to believe uh, the Russians are saying one thing and doing another in an effort to obfuscate, uh, in an effort to hide the truth. The U.S. State Department says its concern has not abated a single bit. Russia continues to threaten Ukraine. We have not uh, seen any de-escalation on the ground. On the contrary, uh, it appears that Russia continues the military buildup. U.S. Uh, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin traveled to Europe to reassure NATO allies our countries stand united, while Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to engage with other world leaders, today hosting the president of Brazil. Back in the U.S., a setback for former President Donald Trump. President Joe Biden deciding to release White House visitor logs and give them to the Capitol Hill Committee probing what happened on January 6th. Meanwhile, the White House COVID-19 response team reporting that daily COVID cases are down, hospital admissions and deaths from the disease down as well. They believe the Omicron wave is waning. They're cautiously optimistic, believe that things are moving in the right direction, but at the same time stress that people must remain vigilant. We want to give people a break from things like mask wearing when these metrics are better and then have the ability to reach for them again should things worsen. The federal government says it's already shipped free at-home COVID tests to more than 50 million homes. The Biden administration is also going back to Congress asking for an additional $30 billion to continue fighting the coronavirus pandemic. Also tonight, special counsel John Durham's investigation into the origins of the Trump-Russia probe continue. Durham is looking into possible misconduct within the U.S. government, and to date, three people have been charged. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.